Hogan. It's actually Michael Bruce Hogan, and I am counselor to the prophet president of the Remnant Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I was born and raised in western Colorado, a little town called Grand Junction, Colorado. I was uh, born into a family uh, that was uh, members of the Reorganized Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and so I was blessed as a young child, and then I was baptized at age eight, along with my older sister, Sharon. We had to rent a Methodist church, which was across the street from the RLDS church, because we didn't have a font. And that would have been in the late 40s and raised in the 50s, and uh, up until 1967, when I went away to college, to the church's college, Graceland College in Lamoni, Iowa. I graduated in 1971 with a bachelor's degree in biology and uh, graduated from Memphis, uh, uh, the uh, University of Tennessee Dental School in 1973. And uh, then I went to work for the, the VA hospital. In 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. was shot and killed in Memphis, Tennessee, not that far from the dental school. And I was here in Kansas City when that happened. And I remember the looting and, and, and the crime and, and the uh, uproar at his uh, assassination. When I started applying for dental school, uh, my mother was convinced that by going to Memphis where all of the looting and all that uh, started secondary to uh, his assassination, uh, that I was gonna be involved and probably shot myself or whatever. And so uh, I assured her I would just take it easy and keep my head down, so to speak. Uh, I had my car broken into three or four times, uh, battery stolen three or four times, my car stolen twice. It was a rough part of town and uh, uh, when I graduated in 73 I was happy to accept a general practice residency in Indianapolis at the VA there. So when I transferred from Indianapolis VA to uh, Chillicothe, Ohio. I, I worked at the VA there for about six years. Transferred to Muskogee, Oklahoma, where there were 30, 35 members, and raised two, two daughters, Rachel and, and Lauren. And uh, we uh, then got the opportunity to, to move to the center place around night, or 2007. And uh, it's been uh, preferable to me and my family to meet with more church members up here in the center place. We affiliated when we got moved up in 2007 with uh, First Congregation and, uh, and uh, have been meeting with them for the last 12 years. 1969, I was uh, called to the office of deacon in Grand Junction, Colorado and I served as a deacon until approximately 1980 or 81 when I was in, in Muskogee, Oklahoma. Uh, the Lord called me to the office of elder and I served in the office of elder for several years, uh, serving as presiding elder at times or solicitor at times which the solicitor was sort of like the, the bishop's agent. And uh, around 2004, uh, I got a call that the Lord was uh, asking me to serve in the office of high priest. So I came up to, up to the center place to a general conference and I was ordained to uh, high priest and I uh, served in, in that office and uh, served on the Standing High Council for uh, several years up until uh, 
this most recent general conference when I was set apart as the counselor to the prophet president of the uh, Remnant Church, Terry Patience. Thank you.